So today I'm doing a drill down. I got this little SPV mini pocket projector, and it's one of those LCOS based pocket projectors, and it's not fixable sadly because I got that little five pin I see. Can't find out what it is. I'm assuming it's some kind of a buck boost drive chip. Considering it was next to a diode, that it was bad. I also tried swapping out the inductor. Didn't work, but that chip keeps getting hot. Can't do anything about that. So I figured, you know what? Let's just tear it apart. See what's inside. At least uh, it'll give me something to look at until I find a LC OS liquid crystal on silicon. A little pocket projector which works that I can kind of play with and experiment. That way I took the battery out as well because I was doing some testing. You know what? I kind of uh, at the risk of no, you know what? It, it is that ship. It really is that ship. I wanted to try jumping something, but that wouldn't make sense. Anyway, so let's get everything taken apart. Close this connector and uh, desolder these two mystery wires. At least it has a, a decent amount of good parts in it. The nice little joystick switch and USB mini B port for uh, the nine dollars I spent on it. Can't go wrong. But it has a nice LED in it too. All right, so uh, I've got basic logic board. Pull off that switch. Nice little mini joy switch on there. It'll be a lot of fun. Little side switches as well. Nice little LEDs. Little plug. Power adapter. Nice battery. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have here now. So here's the actual optical assembly. Where the liquid crystal and silicon chip would be. Uh, this little speaker. And the little fan. Oh, that is such a nice little fan. Uh, a little screw there. Okay, well, that's not attached. So now we have the little focus assembly. So here's the actual optical piece on the back. That uh, should be where the liquid crystal on silicon chip is. Only one way to find out, right? Well, it's quite a little device. And take out the SIF connector cable. Yeah, I'm betting that's the uh, the LED. Uh, that thermal pad is seen better days. Way better days. Now, uh, looks to be an LED that just pulls out. I wonder what kind of LED is in here. Boy, interesting. Let's see if I can... Oh, there's... There's glue around that edge, holding it in. I see it. Oh, what are these? Those to the LED as well. What? What a weird little assembly that's put together here. Oh, I am going to end up breaking something more than it already is. And we have... Uh, a little white LED in there. I did not suspect a white LED. I suspected some kind of red, green, and blue. LED, but indeed, find focus.
Indeed, that is a little white LED. Interesting. Okay, so... Does the color come in like a little... Like, cube splitter or like color wheel or what? Oh, that is really... That's getting interesting. Put that there so I can work with this. A little closer to you guys. Now, uh, there's the lens of where the white light goes into. And... I want to say that the DLP, not DLP, all the DLP, the, the crystal on silicon chip is underneath here. Hold that down. Oh, what a tiny little thing. Okay. Let's try to remove the lens. Oh, I see. This is two little pins. I'm betting I'm going to have to pull those pins out with something. Okay. Oh, uh, that, that didn't work. Yeah? Oh, there goes one. harder. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Though I believe that that's what holds the lens assembly on. It looks like it slides out now. A little focus assembly up in the front. Seems not to be willing to give away its secrets quite yet. Mm -mm. There we go. Okay. So here's the lens for the output. That seems to have the focus carrier in it. And the focus is just a threaded plastic lens like this. Put that back together. Looks like there's some sort of semi transparent mirror in the front. Wonder what that's about. Okay. Looks like that top cover comes off. Oh, so let's see if I can. Yep. Okay, let's analyze what we got going on. Where does the color come from? Is it actually a color liquid crystal chip? I have never seen a color liquid crystal chip before. Huh. Weird. Is it a glass optic? Oh no. That is actually a very, uh, very delicate plastic optic. That's going to be a very broken plastic optic. That's seen better days now. Mm. Also another uh, plastic semi-transparent mirror. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's carefully pull that out as well. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so here, check this out. Since this is liquid crystal on silicon, I want you to see this. See that actually polarizing films.
check this out. Now you can see that or not. Yeah, it's gonna be the polarizing film. Yeah, so those are polarizing optics. Sure. Okay. Continuing on. Yeah, sorry. Pumping the camera. It looks like we have another polarizing optic right here in the front of some sort as well. I'm starting to see a bunch of crazy colors in there. I think that's coming from the lens. Oh yeah. So here's another weird polarizing optic and I'm working on under polarizing light too so I can see it a little bit better. But if I tilt these, you'll see that they go clear and then dark. That's what I mean by working underneath a polarized light. So interesting. That leaves us with the lenses. Interesting. So let's start getting into those. You know, it's broken. It's broken at this point. I'm betting these are plastic lenses. That's definitely a plastic case. See what we got here. Yeah, that's a plastic lens for sure. Oops, dropped it. And it looks like this is glass. Nope, that's also plastic. Good plastic lenses, so. Okay. So there is the liquid crystal on silicon. You know, I might have to put this underneath the microscope to see where the colors are coming from because it's a white LED. I'm not seeing the colors. I do believe so. That uh, I'm gonna pop this underneath the microscope. See what makes it, it tick. liquid crystal on silicon I believe let's see if this is one of the ferromagnetic types I'm wondering if I can change anything on there with the magnet but nope doesn't seem to be let's go take a look at this underneath polarizing film see if there's any changes hmm not really Rising film out for you guys again. Ah, uh, some dirty film. Where's my nice polarizing film? Nope. Here we go. So you can see how, yeah. You see how all those parts kind of change. And uh, this is just a polarizing filter that I have here. 
Getting all liquid crystal on silicon. Doesn't surprise me that these parts are heavily active to polarization. I want to see if there's colored pixels underneath this. Let's go check out underneath the microscope. Okay, so here's that chip underneath the microscope. The liquid crystal on silicon chip. Uh, and it looks like there actually may be color on the chip. Let's look at higher magnification. Uh, whoa. They are colored pixels. That's crazy. Well, that's a nice wrap-up to a video about a projector that didn't work. I've never seen this before. Check this little fan out. It's actually really interesting. I don't know if you can really see in there or not, but there is actually three coils that sit in there. So there's one coil, two coils, and then there's another coil there. So there you can see the three coils. And there's actually a flat, like, donut magnet that sits on top of those. So the three coils interact with that. A little bit of a different setup. Haven't seen a little DC brushless fan with the three coils and a flat magnet. Little pancake coils. It's really interesting. Let's go monkey around with the LED. See how well the LED works. Grab a testing lithium ion cell battery. Yeah, positive little uh, silicone wires, really nice wires. Uh, negative, full uh, four point whatever volts. Oh, I've seen brighter LEDs. That's for sure. Not too impressed with the outputs on that. It's not bad. Not the best. Yeah, I've been spoiled with LEDs. That's what I get. Mm. You know, overall, aside from the funky little weird liquid crystal on silicon chip, that won't really suit my purposes of prototyping. A uh, somewhat mediocre LED, little heat sink, cute fan, the battery was definitely the best thing out of this whole little doodad right there. That's okay. Got another treat coming up for you guys soon. As this mini projector is uh, absolutely perfectly good and functioning. And uh, we're going to test our skills at the reverse engineering process. That little doodad right there. Stay tuned for more.